Hey guys, it's Margaret Lisa. I'm the Productive Babe here on YouTube and today I have a melting basket for the month of March to share with you guys. So I've pulled about two to three weeks worth of wax for March and this is going to be like my spring kind of transition between winter to springtime. Um, it is getting pretty warm here in Texas uh, where I'm at. It was actually like 80 degrees this past weekend. So we are pretty much skipping over spring and going straight into summer. But I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of get some scents out that I have not melted in a while, like florals, even though I'm not really a big floral fan, um, maybe some more fruity stuff. So that is kind of the theme of this basket. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get started and I'll share with you guys what all I pulled. Now most of this of course is Scentsy. You guys know I'm a Scentsy consultant. I love Scentsy so apologize if that's not your thing. Um, there is some vendor wax in here but it is mainly Scentsy. So anyway we'll start with vendor. Um, first I have Fizzy Pop from That Smell Good Shop. This is Lemon Lime Fizzy Soda and I've had this since September of 2022. And this is so strong. Like, I can already tell this is going to blow me out of the house. This is going to be like an open concept scent for sure. Um, it literally smells exactly like what it says. Lemon, lime, and fizz. So excited about that one. Also from that smell good shop, I have white peach spa, sugar, lemon, and clothespins. This is just a really nice floral laundry scent. Yeah, if this was like an actual laundry, like detergent or something I would totally buy this this smells so pretty and it does have that fruitiness from the lemon as well which is nice I actually pulled out like a lot of lemon for this basket which I am not mad about I feel like I've not melted lemon in quite a while uh okay Cinderella from that small good shop this is um the I forget what she called oh scoopable wax yeah it's a weird like consistency but this is pink sugar lavender and linens so again this is another like laundry scent but it smells really nice so i'm excited for that and actually my boyfriend the other day he was like when are you gonna start melting like more spring scents like he was like complaining that i was melting bakery and i was like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. like first off we are an all year round bakery household but I understand it's been several months now, and so I'm, I'm glad to finally be bringing out some spring scents, some bright, fun scents. Um, then from Rose Girls, we have Happy Hour. This is orange, lemon, lavender, and sugar cubes. I have melted about half of this before, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one off. Whew, it is strong. It is lemon and lavender. And then, yeah, I guess I do get that, that orange, too. Yeah, it's like a citrusy lavender, which is kind of an odd mix, but we'll see. Uh, from Fantasy Wax Melts, I have Goofy Cookies and Cream. So this obviously is not bakery at all, but the color reminds me of spring. So we are going to go ahead and melt this. Also, it's super old, so I need to use that. Uh, then from Black Magic Melts, I have Baby Yoda. This was a custom that I made. Pistachio Cake Sugar Cookie Royale in Blue Sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this. Oh, this is so good. Mm. I am excited to use the rest of this, although I will be sad it's gone. But I think, I don't know if Black Magic Melts is doing like customs or I haven't looked on the shop in a while, so I'm not sure what's going on with them. But if they do, feel free to copy that blend that I made. Uh, fried pear cake. This is sweet pear birthday cake and ice cream. I did pull a lot of pear scents too. Mmm. Yeah, this is a nice fruity bakery. Mmm. Excited about that. Then we have from Sassy Girl Aroma, we have Brandy's Pistachio. Pistachio birthday cake and zucchini bread. And again, this Color reminds me of spring, so that is why I pulled that. Okay, what else do I have? Um, ho ho hobgoblin, iced lemon and vanilla cookie. Oh man, that smells good. Mmm. I feel like that smell good shop is I forget like how strong the scents are until I like pull it out and actually smell it. 
Okay, and then from Zape, I have Lemon Pound Cake. This is Buttery Pound Cake, Lemon Glaze, and Sweet Vanilla. Again, with the lemon, fruity bakery. I just love bakery, but I'm trying. I'm trying to melt some non-bakery scents. Okay, and then also from Black Magic Melts, I have Pikachu. This is Iced Lemon Cookies. Mmm. Yeah, it's been a while since I've melted lemon bakery, so I am pretty excited about all the lemon cake scents. Okay, so that was all the vendor wax. Not a whole lot. Everything else is scentsy. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start pulling. We have Flower Shop. This was a Bring Back My Bar, I think, last year. Uh, this is just like walking into a flower shop. That is the scent description. And yeah, it literally smells like grass. Green grass. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think we're going to be doing some yard work this weekend, so this one might be a good time to pull out. Because we have some weeds that we need to get rid of, so we'll see. Um, Peter Pan Sweet and Sassy from the Peter Pan Collection. I love this one. It's in my club. I've melted it before. It is Feisty Tangerine, Lush Kiwi Fruit, and Cucumber Blossom. And oh my gosh, this... I hope that this comes back because if you have not tried this, it is amazing. I don't even know how to describe the scent. It's, it is, it has citrus because of the tangerine, but for me, it's like a floral citrus. I don't know. You just have to smell it. Like it is so good. Um, I am kind of upset that the license bar, well, not kind of, I am upset that the license bars are going to be increasing by 50 cents to $7, but Honestly, I love this too much to remove it from my club, so it is going to be staying for now. Again, I hope it comes back at some point, but... Okay, we have Spiced Pear. This is Pear, Plum Cider, and Vanilla Wood. I think I got this from a flash sale because this is not like currently available. And this is just a really light pear scent. I'm not really getting a whole lot on cold, so we'll see how that does on warm. Paradise Punch. This is wild orange, lemon juice, acai berries, and star fruit. And if I'm not mistaken, is this one coming back to the catalog? No, I don't think it is. Oh, by the way, as of now, today that I'm filming this, it's February 27th. Um, the spring summer catalog is supposed to launch on March 1st. But we consultants got a notification that for now that is delayed um, due to like an internal system issue. So we'll see when it launches. But anyway, this is a good like fruit punch scent. So I am excited to melt that. Hey, Tiger Lily. This is um, wild Tiger Lily, sugared mandarin, and luminous jasmine. I have melted this one before. It is super strong. And it is really, really good, too. It is a floral, juicy, fruity scent. It's just so good. It's it's great. Um, I don't love floral scents, but this is one of, like, the most well-done florals that I think I've ever smelled. So hopefully that comes back one day. Okay, then we have Caramel Sugar Cone. This was a Bring Back My Bar um, in the most recent round in January. It's Gooey Caramel Vanilla Malt and Sugar Cone. Uh, and honestly, I just put this one in this basket because I want to melt it and see if I like it. It is in my club for now because I haven't melted it yet, so I have to see how it performs. But so far, I really like it. To me, it kind of reminds me of like a nice like beachy caramel scent. Mm. Yeah, I can see myself melting this in the summertime because it's not super heavy caramel like bakery or anything. Um, all right, then for St. Patrick's Day, let me find my other bar here. For St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to be melting the Follow the Rainbow and Shamrock Splash which this is the current February scent of the month. This one is Juicy Tangerine, Red Strawberry, and Jasmine Blossom, and this smells absolutely divine. This might be a club bar, depending on how it performs, but on cold, I really, really like this a lot. And I have a feeling that we won't see this one back. Oh, 
that is so so good but yes i am saving it to melt the week of saint patrick's day along with follow the rainbow this is blood orange juicy plum and golden pineapple and this one's okay it's just like a fruity pineapple scent so we'll see about those uh, then I have Coco Lime, which is an absolute love. I have it in my club. Um, it is coming back for spring and summer, which is great. It's coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and fresh lime. And this is a powerhouse lime vanilla scent. It is so good, and it's also a really good mixer. I'm actually planning on mixing this with watermelon patch. So I'm going to do probably like one-to-one. -one. And kind of do like a watermelon margarita type vibe is what I'm going for. So this one is just literally watermelon. Candied watermelon. Like Jolly Rancher watermelon. Mmm. Yeah. These two are going to be really good together. So I'm excited about that mix. Okay. Then we have Let's Get Punchy, which is another fruit punch scent. It's navel orange, tropical cherry, and apple slices. Mmm. Yeah, to me, this one smells more fruit punch than paradise punch. Both good, but this is more like an authentic fruit punch juice. Honestly, this one would probably be good with cocoa lime too, to do like a punchy, like boozy scent maybe. Okay, then we have Awakening. This was from the recent Bring Back My Bar round. It's white peach, vanilla, amber, and pineapple. And... Yeah, this is kind of like a bedroom scent to me because of the amber. It has pineapple, but I don't smell any pineapple. I don't know. We'll see. It's definitely a floral, like a soft bedroom floral. Okay, Bamboo and Rainfall. This is one of the new catalog scents for this spring and summer. And it is Rainfall, Bamboo, and Melon Water. And I am very excited about this one. It's it's a fresh scent, which I normally don't go for fresh scents, but this one actually is really nice. And I've heard that it performs well, so we'll see. Hey guys, I am back on a different day to finish filming this video. I kept getting interrupted yesterday, so we're going to go ahead and finish my melting basket. Um, but we are still on Scentsy Wax, so I have Strawberry Bliss. This is from the... Uh, Easter collection, which is coming out. Uh, actually, I think as of right now, it should be out already, but it is strawberry puree, jasmine, and fizzy champagne. And this one is a floral strawberry to my nose. Uh, it does have that jasmine and strawberry puree. I don't really smell fizzy champagne, but we'll see if that comes out on warm. Uh, then I have grapefruit sunshine. This is Citrus, Pink Grapefruit, and Subtle Vanilla. And I think this is from a flash sale, but yeah, this is just like very, very citrusy. Mm, I actually like this a lot. Mm. I do get like a hint of vanilla in there, so I'm excited to melt that one. I think that one's going to be a really strong performer, so... Um, cashmere pear. This was to bring back my bar from last year, and I have melted it before. It's white amber, Madagascar vanilla, pear, and red ginger. And this is just a beautiful, like, bedroom cashmere scent. You definitely get the amber, the vanilla. I don't get any ginger in this but it's just a very nicely done like bedroom scent so I'm excited to melt that one again uh then we have cucumber and cactus water I can't remember what this collection or what collection this was from it is crisp cucumber cactus water and sea salt and this one is super juicy and it's only from June but yeah this is like super fresh cucumber scent Okay, then we have a licensed bar. This is the Muppets. Uh, sparkling melon, cherry, berry, Valencia orange, and creamy vanilla. So a lot going on. Yeah, this is, this is a lot. Mm, 
I definitely get the orange and like melon note. I don't really get any cherry in this. I do get some vanilla. So yeah, we'll see. This looks like it's a pretty old bar, but I don't know. Um, also from the Easter collection, actually, let me go and pull out the other ones. So we have lemon lime fizz and peach and grapefruit mimosa. So lemon lime fizz is vanilla sugar, fizzling lemon and lime. So yeah, this one's good. Um, definitely get that lemon scent. I like wish better which is another like lemon lime scent um, that was from a license bar. But this one smells pretty good, so I'll see how that performs. Uh, then we have peach and grapefruit mimosa. This is grapefruit, sweet peach, and vanilla. And this one I think I'm the most excited about from the collection. This just has a really nice peach grapefruit like it's very strong too I have a feeling this one's gonna be a strong performer yeah that one is really good okay then we have a mandarin splash so this is mandarin and light woodsy notes yeah I definitely get a woods vibe to this I don't really get any like citrus from the mandarin I mainly just get like a woody like a clean woody scent. I don't know, it almost smells like cologne, which is kind of interesting. Uh, what else do we have? Coastal strawberry. This is a like green strawberry scent. It's earthy, fruity strawberry vine, raspberry, and jasmine. Now I have melted this one before. I'm not a huge fan of it. I know some people love this. I'm getting like a really weird note from this. And I don't know if it's because it's like older. Mm. I don't know. I get like a really weird like food note. I don't I don't know how to explain it. Okay, anyway. Tangerine and sugarcane. This was a was this from the summer collection last year? I can't remember. It is grapefruit, tangerine, and sugarcane. I pulled out a lot of grapefruit scents this time around. I didn't even realize that. Mmm, yeah, it's just like a sweet tangerine scent. God, I have all my waxes like falling apart. Yeah, this is nice. I have melted it before. Oops, sorry guys, my cat. Mmm, yeah. I don't remember this one being a strong performer, but it's had a lot of time to cure, so we'll see. Okay, then we have chamomile petals, which was a scent of the month at some point. I can't remember, but I have not melted it yet. Um, this is chamomile petals, jasmine, and apple. Yeah, not really my vibe, but again, I haven't melted it yet, and I've had it for since last June, so. I don't know if this was like May scent of the month or June, I can't remember. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's, it's okay. I'm not really a floral fan, so... Okay, Ruby Nectarine. I love this scent. Um, it is in my club. I don't think it's coming back this catalog season, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's a Juicy Nectarine, Ruby Apple, and Pear Blossom. Oh my god. This is so good. It smells like fresh, like apples, and you do get like that sweet nectarine. Ugh. I could smell this all day. It's also a very strong performer, so I'm very excited about that one. And then last but not least, we have Bamboo Yuzu. So this is Dewy Bamboo, Tranquil Lotus Flower, Fresh Yuzu, and Hints of Sage. So lots of green notes going on. Yeah, this is just like a really fresh scent. I almost feel like a... I get kind of like a soapy vibe from this I don't know it smells like a body wash to me but we'll see not a really big fan of fresh scents or like green scents but it's nice to try out scents that you know we've never melted before so we will see but um guys that was my melting basket for March I probably will end up pulling some other stuff too but this is a good starting point for me for right now um, if you did like this video, definitely comment down below, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.